Ground and surface water concerns still surround Eagle Mine with former and new water discharge permit issues. Save the Wild UP has been monitoring the mining process and possible hazards and contamination to surface water, drinking water, and watersheds from Eagle Mine. The group is worried that the mining process does not have enough oversight and managers are not thinking of the long-term effects of mining on the UP wilds. Uh, treated industrial wastewater from their facility, um, all the mine contact water, all the process water, everything that comes in contact with the trucks, they treat it, they run it through a million processes in reverse osmosis and they put it in the ground. But it doesn't stay in the groundwater, it's conveyed, um, groundwater moves and it comes out the side of the hills um, that feed the Salmon Trout River. After being told that this is a federal oversight matter from the DEQ and not a state one, the group is looking to get a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit, the only Clean Water Act that actually protects surface water. Um, it would mean more that the mine has to adhere to more stringent uh, water regulations. Um, their effluent has to be treated even more carefully, um, and it means that the folks with camps on the Yellow Dog Plains wouldn't have to be worried about whether they have to treat their water that comes out of, you know, comes out at their camps and they can drink their water without concerns. As the mine looks to a new project, Eagle East Save the Wild UP is fearful that this could devastate watersheds like the salmon trout or the yellow dog. ABC 10 did contact Eagle Mine for comment about this story, but we have yet to receive any comment from them.